Many victims this morning that are still recovering from all of this that unfolded yesterday morning. And Derek Waller is live in Brooklyn with more on that angle. Derek. Candace, overnight, seven people remained in area hospitals, including five here at NYU Langone. Thankfully, none of the injuries are considered life threatening, but certainly for many of these victims, it's going to be a slow recovery. As we mentioned, 10 people got shot on that train, and more than a dozen others suffered other injuries, including smoke inhalation, as people rushed to get away. 21 victims were taken here to NYU Langone, Brooklyn, for gunshot wounds and smoke inhalation. Three others taken to New York Presbyterian Brooklyn Methodist. But many of the youngest victims were transported to Maimonides Hospital, where Governor Kathy Hochul paid a visit last night. The youngest victim was just 12 years old. A 16-year-old who was shot in the hand had to have thumb surgery and remained at the hospital overnight. It was a pretty devastating injury to the uh, to the thumb, and uh, it destroyed a lot of the, uh, the bone, the joint, the tendons, uh, the nerves, but are able to uh, uh, salvage the thumb and it's alive and uh, he'll need some more surgery. And you know, the fact that many of these victims were shot in their extremities, including a hand, legs, arms, uh, means that uh, many, well, all of them are expected to survive their injuries.